Hello, uh, my name is Vipin Kumar. Uh, I'm the Odoo developer in GeoTechnosoft uh, Private Limited. So uh, we have developed a module for uh, e-invoicing or e-way bill. So here I'm going to explain you that how our module uh, works. For for the configuration, you have to go in invoicing and configuration. And here you can see uh, there is a uh, sub menu uh, named e invoicing. You have to click on this. And uh, I have already uh, filled the informations uh, like uh, my ESP ID that is uh, provided by uh, Tax Pro. So here you have to fill your ASP ID, ASP password, and URL tag, like uh, for which you are uh, using the invoicing for the testing purpose or for production purpose, uh, as I'm using for the testing purpose. So I, I have selected uh, this test. OK, now save it. After fill all the information here, uh, we have to move in to inventory. Click on the inventory after configuration and then select a uh, warehouse. Click on this uh, button warehouse. Here you can see that uh, there is a, a tab named e invoice bill credentials. You, here you have to put your credentials like a uh, username, uh, username which is provided by TextPro, also your GSTIN number, your password. After fill all this. Uh, credentials you have to go back in invoicing so click on invoicing configuration open this and uh, there is a button for test connection so you have to click on this button after a uh, connection create uh, created successfully you have to uh, go inventory configuration and select warehouse uh, so as you can see that there there is a, a two fill like a auth token but means a authentication token and also a token expiry date uh, which is also which is also uh, generated from the tax pro api if uh, I am going if I am remove all this information and then save this record. Okay. So now I am going to uh, click on this button for the test connection again. So click on this button. Now you can see that uh, there is an authentication token also generated and token expiry date also here. So after this, uh, I am going to show you that how e invoicing will be generated. So open any record. Uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, as you can see that there is a button named uh, generate e invoicing. When you click on this button, uh, a page will be uh, visible named e invoicing bill details. So you have to put all your details here, like e invoicing details, uh, subtype B2B or SHIWP, DXT, DXCP, etc., and document type for which you are uh, generating invoice e invoicing, like e invoice for credit note or for debit note. Here, uh, there also a uh, field like is service you can select and if you are using service so select yes if you are not using service then select no and transaction type also like regular bill to ship to okay uh, so i am going to generate e bill also with e invoicing so here uh, you have to fill the details here you fill, uh, have to fill the details like a uh, vehicle number. Vehicle type. What is your regular? 
here you have to fill the uh, GSTN number uh, of the transporter. So I have also I'm copying that from my previous record. Okay. My transporter. Yes, ten number here. Transporter name. Transporter dog date. I have selected three months. So here, here you have to uh, fill the distance between the pin codes, uh, pin codes of uh, source location and uh, destination location. So I'm going to put here nine four one okay. transporter mode and save it. After confirming this uh, invoice, there is a buttons uh, will be visible like create invoicing. Before create a uh, invoice or generate EV bill, you have to click on this button. After okay, after uh, generating the after generated the IRN number and EV bill, there is a pop up like you can see here. IRN and EV bill created successfully. So to see uh, these uh, IRN number or EV bill, you have to scroll down and here you can see that EV bill details are also here <clears throat> like EV bill status no generated, EV bill number, EV bill validity, EV bill date, IRN number, uh, a QR code also generated. So you have to click on this button and download the QR code. Now here you can see that uh, in a QR code also uh, generated. To print the EV bill, you have to uh, click on this button, print EV. So after uh, after the EV bill printed, you can see here how our EV bill uh, will be. This is uh, our EV bill. Okay. Now, if you have, if if you if you want to uh, cancel EV bill, you can just click on this button and fill the reason. Then, or if you want to cancel invoicing, you have to click on this button. Select cancel reason or description, and click on the cancel bill button so the invoicing will be cancelled okay thank you